A former Intercept reporter has been arrested after making eight bomb threats on Jewish institutions. Now, Juan Thompson was arrested in St. Louis on one count of cyber stalking since he allegedly made these threats to harass a former girlfriend. Now, Thompson's first alleged threat came just nine days after the first wave of bomb threats hit JCCs, which are Jewish community centers across the country. Now, there has been a 95% increase in anti-Semitic threats and crimes this year so far compared to last year which as of Friday, uh, add up to at least 103 at 77 Jewish community centers and nine Jewish schools. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning, Juan uh, made these threats allegedly uh, to harass his former ex-girlfriend. And he started harassing her back in July when she ended the relationship. Now, on July 27th, Thompson allegedly sent an email to the victim's employer at a social service organization in the greater New York area, claiming that she'd been pulled over for drunk driving and was being sued for spreading sexually transmitted diseases. He also sent other emails to her employer uh, saying that she was in possession of child pornography and things like that. Uh, But then at the beginning of this year, he started with the bomb threats. He made eight bomb threats to Jewish institutions over the course of a month. Uh, Sometimes he'd make threats in his own name. Other times he'd make them in the victim's name uh, and then claim that she was trying to frame him. Again, these are all the allegations from the by the FBI. Yes, yes, allegations. Uh, Now, according to the FBI, like you said, he sent the first threat via email to the Jewish history Museum. Um, he also allegedly threatened a Jewish school in Manhattan, another Jewish school in Farmington Hills, Michigan, a JCC in Manhattan, a JCC in San Diego, uh, and a bunch of other institutions. Now, uh, he is saying that uh, that he then he sent an email to the American Defense League saying that the woman, the uh, victim in this situation, uh, is behind the bomb threats against Jews and that she lives in New York City and is making more bomb threats tomorrow. On February 24th, he also posted a very bizarre Twitter rant about her. Um, and so I want to read you a few excerpts from that. Now, the first one he says, uh, two years ago, after swearing off white women, sure. I started dating one named Francesca. She seemed like a cool Brooklyn white radical. Sure. Uh, <laughs> Uh, He then goes on, we broke up after someone showed me the light. And since then, she stalked and harassed me, threatened to have me killed, and said she was going to make me a prison statistic and looked forward to me being raped in prison. I don't know why she, rape is in quotes. Yes, she, uh, though I can't prove it, even sent a bomb threat in my name to a Jewish center, which was odd given her anti-Semitic uh, comments. So uh, he sent this on uh, February 24th. Uh, he has now been that arrested. Be this with anti-Semitic yeah. comments. Too. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, that was a weird sort of uh, a contrast there. Now this is the first arrest uh, made in connection with a lot of the bomb threats that have been uh, put on Jewish institutions around the country and. And frankly, I think this is an unfortunate first arrest because uh, they are able to sort of deflect it on his harassment of his ex-girlfriend uh, when there are some real anti-Semitic notions going around the country. When you're in a in a fight with your girlfriend, leave the Jews out of it. <laughs> you don't, it's, enough it's, to it's deal with. What's amazing about anti-Semitism, and I don't, and in America, anti, you know, there there are people suffering worse in America than the Jews, right? No right. question. Yeah. But man, do we get pulled in to every racist crackpot in the world? Like you get a, you know, you're like, I mean, you know, you're in prison. You'd be like the Wajenko and I always talk about, you know, the white supremacists. They'll be railing on the black guys in prison and the Muslims in prison and the and the and the the, the Latinos in prison. And they'd be like, and of course, don't forget the Jews. But well, like, what, what are you? Course, why are you against well, us? Hate the people Jews, you hate. There's fewer yeah. Jews in prison because we have better lawyers. Yeah, for sure. Good point. Oh, yeah, okay, that's one way of looking at it. Well, here's one of the things. First of all, three Jews on this pack. Can I laugh? We got you, we got you. You guys, I consider my friends. I have a lot of other friends of the of the of the faith, as I say, and I always say that you know, blacks and Jews are 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 closer because we've both been oppressed. That's right. And we have a lot of the same similarities in our lives as we go through it. Um there's two there's two sides to this. One you got a guy who's an idiot. He went to Williamsburg, thought he could get somebody that's different, and that Williamsburg is a section of Brooklyn for those who may not know, who there is kind of known for the, I guess, the radicals or whatever he's looking for. Um, he was fired for lying. So yeah. his 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 reputation right now is already suspect in a sense of I'm not sure if I can believe what you're saying, Juan. First of all, he's not. I don't know if he's Spanish or not, so I'm not going to talk about the Juan part in his name. Um, 
But let's just get down to what the FBI said. And since the FBI has said that they have these, these, uh, you know, that they've proven that As stuff has been linked to him. Yeah. On another side, it's not hard for me to frame somebody if I'm smart enough or have the people that can, you know, link the IP addresses to that. But I feel like the FBI would have already found that part out. Yeah. So now he's trying to go back and save himself, saying that, oh, she was doing this, she was sitting in these threats, she was going around, you know, gave me herpes, and although I can't prove it, she's sending a bomb threat to my name. Like, no, there's guys out here that do stupid stuff like that that stalk their ex-girls, that go through, if I can't have you, nobody can type of deal. And they go, you know, calling her job and stuff. That's that's a, a punk way of going out. And I believe that he probably would have done stuff like that. And now at this point where he's trying to frame her for doing all these other, uh, you know, sending all these bomb threats and things like that. I mean, at this point, I, 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 if I was Judge Joseph Wapner, rest in peace, I'm <laughs> siding with the defense, I'm siding with the plaintiff. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 yeah. I, I, wanna, I wanna expand on something sure. you said real quick just yeah. to clarify. Now you mentioned that he uh, has been caught lying before. He was a reporter for The Intercept and he was fired, he was let go after he quoted a Scott Roof in uh, respect to the Dylan Roof case who just didn't exist. So he already Already has sort of a, a, a history of lying um, and sort of trying he to get started attention. Started a Facebook post two years ago after swearing off white women. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm good. It sounds he did it. Sounds <laughs> like stupid. It's, it's that it was a, it was an old phrase in hip hop. It was like we don't believe you. You need more people. Yeah. Like, right now, like you have <laughs> you have no but, weight in anything you're saying uh, right now. But to Hannah's point is the bigger th is the is the is the bigger point is that. Uh, that there will be those people who want to point out that uh, the Trump administration has not sort of unleashed the devil by allowing, creating an atmosphere where people who want to single out blacks or Jews or Latinos or Muslims now feel emboldened and free to do it. And we saw that in what has been apparently a significant uptick of bomb threats against Jewish community centers and, and, and Jewish places of worship. I believe we call those temples. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I'd have to I check. I'm not a not a good Jew. I call um, them uh, And so uh, and there'll be an aha moment. Like no, look, it's just essentially a kid. I mean, he's not a kid, but I just mean it might as well be when the argument was, hey, somebody sent me on Twitter when the Jewish cemetery was vandalized, mm -hmm. the first one in St. Louis. That hey, how do we know it wasn't just drunk kids? This is the this is the grown-up version of drunk kids, right. meaning it's not, it's, it's nothing to do with Trump. It's just the, yeah, the kind I mean, of. I definitely the, don't think it had anything to do with that. I think this is just one of those isolated except, incidents. Except, except for the fact that, again, because there had already been an increase, it started beforehand. So he's like, well. I'll hop on this bandwagon. That's, right. Right. that's right. what I think. Right. That's what I think. I mean, yeah. I agree with you, right? So I think because there is this uptick in anti-Semitism, because people do feel like they can kind of come out of the woodwork and express these beliefs, uh, we have seen it with these uh, bomb threats. Most recently, we've seen it with swastikas uh, following November 8th and things like that, that people are doing this more and people feel mm -hmm. more accepted in doing so. And it's so unfortunate that there were so many bomb threats, then he felt like he could jump on the ba bandwagon right. and blame it on his ex-girlfriend. And that would be a, a, a threat or something like that, a way to harass her that would be believable. And so right. that's like, I think the real unfortunate part. And a lot of Trump supporters who have already said that these are false statements and it's really just uh, liberals who are you know, making these to make Trump supporters sound bad and whatever it may be, this sort of gives credence to that, which is really unfortunate. Podcast the Young Turks anytime you want, tytnetwork.com slash join. I think it's weird. No, it's not weird. In fact, you'll think, you know, I'm like a smart person. Do it now, tytnetwork.com slash join.